what better place than Japan to discover innovative healthcare solutions and technology that can improve people's lives all over the world. Spotlight shines a light on Japan, starting with Honda. The company has developed a brand new device to assist people with impaired mobility. We visited Honda's headquarters to see what it is all about. Recent steps into a world beyond automobiles and airplanes may sound like a bit of a leap, but a personal mobility device has been created by Honda to help those in need. Agile and lightweight at 2.7 kilograms, this walking assist device has been developed for those who suffer from walking difficulties. It can manage the stress load of a person's legs and reduce fatigue. We met Makoto Shibata from the development department who explained how it works. This is a, a very, very simple structure. Uh, we have a two motor and uh, a battery and computer in the back side. So during the walking, uh, this computer sends uh, hip angle movement and uh, this device uh, can uh, assist uh, human leg movement. This uh, walking uh, information uh, go to this uh, tablet so this is uh, like a, a racing car technique between the car and the pit. The device has been inspired by the development of the humanoid robot ASIMO, where engineers conducted thorough research on the human bipedal system. Since 2013, more than 50 hospitals in Japan have given patients and elderly people the opportunity to utilize it, which has helped to optimize functions. Walking assist device technology could change the way we look at the concept of mobility as a whole. Healthcare solutions are not just a prerogative of large corporations. Ginta Kundo is a brilliant young innovator who's come up with an affordable 3D printed robotic arm. Let's go meet him. It's Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning, and the weekly meeting of Mission Arm of Japan, a non-profit organization where a group of engineers, designers, and physically disabled individuals are gathering to develop prosthetic products. Genta Kondo, 31-year-old co-founder of XE Startup, has combined robotic technology with 3D printing techniques. It's open source project. We are disclosing all the data for free on the internet. So as long as you have the access to the internet, you can basically download the data and just print it right away. This kind of technology trend will um, improve people's quality of life because they don't have to stuck to the professionals. Like everybody can make a uh, hand. Making things is became really easy. And I want um, to tell the world that um, it's not that difficult. You can um, customize it to your taste. And, um, and it's also really fun to make one. So, 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 so. Providing practical solutions that can produce an immediate impact could change Takayoshi's life. He was born with a birth defect in his left hand. Now he's trying his new prosthetic before finalizing a design that suits him. Until now I was holding things with only my right hand. But this arm will allow me to hold things with my left as well. So I hope that I can do a lot of things with my two arms. I'm very hopeful about life now. With $500, you could purchase a stylish 3D printed arm at 10 times less than the cost of a typical prosthetic arm. It's a deal you can shake on. Nearly half a million people die from malaria every year. A Japanese company has developed a paint that repels mosquitoes, which are responsible for spreading deadly diseases. We visited Kansai Paint in Tokyo. Kansai, known as one of Japan's largest paint manufacturers for automotive and industrial applications, has invented a paint that uses insecticides to repel mosquitoes and other insects. The paint is destined for tropical climate countries. 
In a situation where there are a lot of children dying from malaria in Africa, we thought of developing a paint which could repel or even kill mosquitoes. This paint contains ingredients which excite mosquitoes' nerves. When mosquitoes land on a wall, they become nervous and paralyzed because of these ingredients and would never bite a human. That's the mechanism. During tests, the paint was found to have an 80% efficiency in repelling mosquitoes. This has led to improvements in health clinics across several developing countries, and the anti-mosquito paint has become vital, especially in nurseries and schools in countries such as Malaysia and Indonesia, where a lot of people suffer from dengue fever. That's all for this spotlight. Thanks for watching.